Chris Fletcher from Wolverhampton Music Service and this video is for those of you who have started playing the recorder. The first thing we're going to do is take the recorder out of the bag and check that it's in line. Make sure that the head joint and the body and the foot are pushed together, no gaps, and that the sections aren't twisted. So the window part of the head joint, this little hole here, should be facing forwards in line with the holes on the body. So just check that they're lined up and that the foot joint should be turned slightly to the right hand side, slightly this way, so that you can see that that hole and that hole are a little bit offset. The next thing is to sit or stand correctly with a straight back and shoulders relaxed. So when you practice at home, you can do a bit of both. It's good to do practice standing up sometimes, sitting down sometimes, um, but make sure that you've got your back straight. And this means that the air you're going to blow doesn't get stuck anywhere. So let's pr practice our record blowing. Can you blow against your hand really hard? So give a really good blow and then softly. Can you feel that the temperature changed? Try it again, hard and soft. When we blow the recorder, we want the soft, warm air because that will give us the best sound. So try blowing some warm air into your recorder. Now let's look at the position the recorder is in, in our mouths. It goes between our lips and in front of the teeth. Don't let the recorder touch your teeth. And your tongue stays behind your teeth so that it can help us to say two at the start of each note. Let's try that. So it's just resting on my lip, in front of my teeth. So let's see if we can do a bit of a copycat. I'm gonna play four notes and then you can copy, but remember to use that warm air blowing. So I think you're now ready to try playing your first piece. Wait for the introduction on the backing track and then play four notes and count four beats rest until you get to the end of the piece. This is Glory B. And when we finish playing, we put our recorder in rest position under our left arm. If you're not sure which is your left, hold up your thumb and first finger in front of you and it will give you an L. If you have a look at mine that way around, you have an L. If you try it with your right hand, it comes out the wrong way around. It's really important to know which is your left hand because your left hand goes at the top of the instrument, nearest the head joint or the mouthpiece on all woodwind instruments including the recorder. So let's get our fingers on for our first note now, the note B. Left hand thumb on the hole at the back, first finger on the first hole. So your right hand can support the recorder at the bottom for now. And we can play Glory B once more. Remember two things, we're going to say two on each note and we're going to blow gently. Remember that warm air blowing that we did earlier. Thumb on the back, first finger at the top.
Just to check that you're happy with the note B, we'll try another piece called BB Blues. Instead of four notes at a time this time, you now need to play groups of nine. Keep your tongues tonguing the notes. And there's a section in the middle where we play groups of three. And then it's back to nine notes for the last, last section. So I'll put it along the bottom of the screen, but it goes nine, nine, three, 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 three. And then the last section is another nine. So this is BB Blues still using the note B. Well done. So let's move on to A. Keep your thumb on the hole at the back and your first finger covering the top hole, but also add your second finger. And we're going to try a piece called thinking. Keep blowing that gentle warm air and listen carefully to the introduction. Groups of seven notes for this one. Now, to finish off with today, I'd like you to listen to a piece called Walking Talking Robot. It has a really long introduction, so listen out for the bass guitar playing and then the voice. And whatever the voice sings, you have to copy, just using the two notes that we've done today, B and A. So I'm going to put the track on. Um, I'd like you to listen to uh, which order you think the notes come in, whether you think it starts with an A or whether you think it starts with a B. Let's have a listen to the beginning. So we get this long introduction, all these electronic sounds, and then any minute we hear the bass guitar, And then the voice comes in and we copy the voice. So the voice went, walking, talking, robot. Low, 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 high, low. So if A is the lowest note that we've learnt so far, we're going to play A, 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 B, A. Walking, talking, robot. So we have to use our ears really carefully in this piece of music. And that's what I'd like you to do over this week. Have a go at playing Walking, Talking, Robot. And I'm just going to play it for you to finish off with. Listen carefully to the middle sections and see how many notes you need to play each time. And have your hands ready at the top, left hand at the top, holding your record at the bottom, rest it on your lip, 
There's the bass guitar, listening for the voice. <laughs> 